Iran and North Korea are once again raising the stress level at the Pentagon. Both nations continue to test ballistic missiles that could threaten American warships and bases, but the real fear is that North Korea is getting closer to having a missile that could reach the United States. The past U.S. presidents have done little to stop them. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin has the latest from the Pentagon tonight. The Pentagon says the North Korean launch involved multiple missiles, most of them old scuds. Four fell within 190 miles of Japan, raising alarm among U.S. allies. But it's North Korea's intent to master long-range missiles that has Washington worried. They have an ICBM that could reach the United States. We've seen them parade them around. We've seen them in the factory. What they haven't done is test it. What stands out about this test, the second under President Trump, is how North Korea is testing missile units to see how they would perform form in an actual war. That, according to Jeffrey Lewis, a non-proliferation ballistic missile expert at the Monterey Institute. The North Koreans are, I think, in the process of giving nuclear weapons to their missile units, and that's what they're practicing now, is they're practicing to use those nuclear weapons early on in a conflict. The test comes as more than 3,000 U.S. troops arrived in South Korea for an annual joint war game. The administration's response was muted amidst a report from the New York Times that the Obama administration engaged in cyber efforts to stall North Korea's missile program. Quote, the United States strongly condemns the DPRK's ballistic missile launches tonight, which violate UN Security Council resolutions. The North Koreans also test-fired a missile in mid-February, while President Trump hosted the Japanese Prime Minister at Mar-a-Lago. Today, Prime Minister Abe looked visibly concerned when he addressed Japan's parliament after the latest test. Japan will collect and analyze information regarding this issue. Japan has also also lodged strong protest against North Korea. The ballistic missile fired this time shows clearly that North Korea has become a new kind of threat. Iran, meantime, tested two short-range ballistic missiles over the weekend, destroying a floating barge in the Gulf of Oman. The Fateh 110 is designed to target ships at sea. Navy officials tell Fox News a U.S. surveillance ship had to change course in the Strait of Hormuz after Iranian fast boats approached. And we've just learned, Brett, that President Trump spoke with Japan's Prime Minister Abe to discuss North Korea's latest missile test. Brett, back Jennifer to you. Griffin, live at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you.